the, the intention uh, is to uh, bring up to date all the information that's been in the safe books ever since the first safe book in 1992 now. Uh, we've built on that incrementally uh, to try and reflect the changes uh, in the standards uh, and also in the country regulations uh, and the technology that's used for safety. So this is just another incremental step forward to, to try and keep up. And the objective of SafeBook is not necessarily to inform of the very latest things that are happening. Uh, the objective of SafeBook is to, is to keep people to date with what's here and now. The, 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 the generally accepted approach to machinery safety. We have many other ways of, of bringing people right up to date with the very latest in technology and what may be happening next year and the year after, but SafeBook is really something that maybe you can use as, as, a, as a training aid for somebody you know, who, who, who's new into safety. You can use it as a reference, you can use it as a link to, to other websites and everything. So it's just a general uh, reference book of, of what is current and recent in safety. I have to say up front, you know, nothing hugely different, uh, but if you read the detail, if you go through the detail, there are some fairly significant changes, especially especially with uh, SafeBook 5. If you're somebody who's, who's involved in the detail of, of designing circuitry, there are a number of issues. There's some fairly significant standards which we can which we can touch later that have either been newly introduced or, or more likely revised into new new uh, editions. But it's mostly a question of interpretation, and and that's always one of the issues in safety. But especially if if you're a, a circuit designer, then you read the standards, and the question is. What does this really mean in, in my application? And in especially some issues, uh, some of the issues such as, you know, when can I do a fault exclusion and what sort of fault exclusions can be justified and how will that affect the, the eventual rating of my circuit? Well, in the last you know, number of years, there's been some uh, clarifications in various standards and I've, we've looked to uh, implement those so people have got a better idea. Uh, there's been some uh, significant steps forward in how we look at various type of faults that may occur, especially with things like circuits with electromechanical electro switches connected in series, things like that. So up to now, there's been some accepted approaches to these. It's almost like a consensus that people just accept. In the last few years, these have been spelt out further in standards. So we've tried to bring that over. And also to just bring up to date um, you know, a, a, a more uh, contemporary way of putting circuits together. You know, we're all aware that uh, in most safety circuits now, probably one of the most, uh, I'm not going to say the most important part because they're all important, but one of the most significant parts are, are the logic in the middle of the circuit. You know, safety is very much going towards logic and software as, as, as one of its essential parts. So again, we've tried to bring that in. And the other thing is we've just tried to, without wanting to be commercial about it, overtly commercial, but you know, we, we, we have tried to bring in uh, some information on, on the tools and the help and everything we can do to help people out. Yes, okay. It's Rockwell, Rockwell Automation, and I am from Rockwell Automation. But you know, it's important that you know, people do use and access all the tools and help that there is there to do it, because that, that's part of the whole uh, global collateral of information on safety, uh, just as standards are. I, I think it's because we have always tried to make it something that is readable. It, it's, uh, of course, it, it, it's not a novel with a, with a start, a middle and an end, and there is no kind of plot there, but, but we do try, and, do try and make it a descriptive thing of the general sense of what machinery is all about, especially 
in relation to functional safety of machinery, to the safety related control aspect of machinery. And it tries to cover everything that you may know, uh, that you may need to know uh, if you are a machine builder, uh, if you are a machine user, uh, it will link to most of the aspects and it touches, you know, uh, re regulations in various countries of the world. It touches, you know, uh, requirements for the design of circuits, etc. Most of the things you'll want to know are in there, usually with a reference out to where you can go and dig deeper once you've found out. But it's, it's an overview and an index and it's readable. It couldn't be easier. You just go along to the website at machinesafetysolutions.com and you'll find all the information you need to download SafeBook 5 and a host of other information that's going to help you as well.